In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean, decontaminate and protect your glass in just a few easy steps. And best of all, you don't have to be an expert car cleaner either. All you gotta do is simply follow along to these steps and you'll be able to get perfect glass in no time. So it's always a good idea to have protected glass all year round, but when it comes to winter time, it's more important than ever because you face lots of mud. But worst of all, it's the road salts that bond onto the glass that's when it becomes a serious issue as it reduces visibility and it can endanger your life. So today I'm going to show you how I go about decontaminating and protecting glass with two products called Glaco Compound and Glaco Sealant by Soft99. So there's a couple of things you need to do before you even attempt using these products. Firstly, you've got to give your car a decent wash. Make sure you pick a good day. Don't go doing it when the sun's out in the direct sunlight in the middle of the day. There's nothing worse. You need to make sure you've got nice cool temperatures or do it in the shade. Once you're satisfied you cleaned your car, you can now move on to the first part of the process. And this is where we decontaminate and remove old coatings from the glass. And if you don't want to use one of these glass compounds, then alternatively you can use a clay bar instead, which will remove all the contaminants and it will get you the same results. But for today's demonstration, I'm sticking with the glass compound because it has many benefits and I'll list some of the reasons why I prefer using this to a clay bar in the description below. So to use this, it's quite simple. You just need to give it a quick shake, then remove the cap and gently apply some pressure onto the windscreen. So what we're doing here is essentially breaking down anything that shouldn't be on the windscreen and we're leveling it out so it's a smooth surface to apply the glass coating to. So at this point you can work it in crisscross patterns or circles, it really doesn't matter and a little goes a long way. Once the glass is covered you can immediately remove the compound and for best results I use a damp cloth and I keep rinsing the cloth after every few wipes so you're not putting more product back onto the glass. And as soon as I've wiped away the majority of the compound, I just grab a dry towel and run it over the glass one more time just to remove any last bits of residue. With the compound stage fully completed, we can now jump onto the rain repellent. So to get started, shake the bottle, then remove the cap and work it onto the windscreen in a circular motion. And we're not using a lot of chemical here. We just want a nice consistent film to bond to the glass. And once it's fully covered, you need to leave it for around five to 10 minutes, depending on the temperature and the environment conditions. Once it's had time to set, you can remove the residue. Removing this sealant is very easy. All you need to do is gently buff it off, then fold the cloth over and buff off again for the second time. And a top tip here, always use fresh new towels. The last thing you want to do is cross contaminate it with a cloth that you might have used on interior plastics. And in the real world, I would expect to get around four months protection from sealant. So depending on your circumstances, applying this around three times a year is gonna be plenty good enough for the daily driver. So what I'm gonna do is now give you the opportunity to take a quick screenshot of every single step mentioned in this video. And let me know what parts of car cleaning you need help with and I'll do my best to get them featured on the channel. 